Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The Department of Economic Development, together with Spanish solar company Abengoa and the Industrial Development Corporation, has launched a 100 megawatt concentrated solar power park in the Northern Cape. Contributing editor online, Megan von Weingart, who joins me in studio, attended the launch. Hi, Megan. Hi, Tracy. What is the significance of the Katu Solar One Park? The Katu Solar One Park, which means open skies, is the first solar thermal electricity power plant in South Africa and the first one that has come to commercial production. Uh, the 100 megawatt plant, which falls in the Northern Cape Solar Corridor, um, highlights the Northern Cape's appeal for solar projects of all sorts. The Stellenbosch University actually found that the Northern Cape produces direct normal irradiation of about 2,555 kilowatt hours per square meter a year. The question remains whether the government can keep up with the grid transmission capacity as we've already started to see cracks in the third round of the independent power producers program. And how long did it take before the project actually was realized? In total, it took about five years since the company bid in the independent power program uh, up until the launch construction, which took two years, employed about a thousand people. The entire uh, project's value is about 7.9 billion rand. And what are the specifications of the solar park? The plant is made up of 1,200 parabolic troughs. Each collector is made up of 10 modules, which has 20 mirrors. In total, there is about 336,000 mirrors in this plant. And how does the energy capacity measure up? Uh, the plant has capacity to provide energy to about 80,000 households or 400,000 South Africans. Uh, it could power Naisna, Oatswaran, Swellendam and Muscle Bay for a year. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Tracy. That is the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.